Hi everyone, how are you? Today we have a writing lesson. Let's go! We will write, we will try to write a paragraph. About what? About the disadvantages of brain drain. Do you remember last time? We did a paragraph about advantages and today we do a paragraph about, or we are going to write a paragraph about disadvantages and the both or the two paragraphs are part of an argumentative essay. Ready? Let's go! Read the following paragraph and answer the question below. What is the question? How is internet dangerous according to the writer? Of course, you know a lot about the disadvantages and advantages of the internet. Today we will concentrate on the, the disadvantages of the internet. Ready? Let's go to the paragraph. From my point, point of view, sorry, although internet has become a necessary tool nowadays, it has many disadvantages. To start with, some students may spend a lot of time online and thus neglect their studies. For example, some students use social media excessively, like you. Besides, internet may take from family time. This leads to a lack of interaction and deprives family members from precious moments together. Another argument against internet is that some websites are dangerous for children. To illustrate, they can be victims of exploitation or harassment. To sum up, these and other drawbacks show that internet can be a dangerous tool if it's not used wisely. Now, shall we answer the question? In what way is the internet dangerous? What are the disadvantages of the internet? Shall we check? Okay, go ahead. It can be dangerous because students waste their time online and neglect their studies. Two, it deprives families of moments of interaction. Three, some children can be victims of exploitation and harassment. What are these? These are arguments that the writer uses to defend his or her point of view. Now, let's look at the organization of this paragraph. Do you remember organization from advantages paragraph? Topic sentence, supporting sentences, details, and a concluding sentence. Great! Yes! Eight sentences. You still remember? Good students! Okay, let's go to the following task. Fill in the following shapes with sentences from the paragraph. The same shapes we filled last time for advantages paragraph. Of course, we have here one sentence, another sentence, detail that explains this sentence, one more sentence, detail, another sentence, a detail, and the last one is the concluding sentence. Shall we correct? Okay, go ahead. So the first shape, we have the topic sentence. Why is it necessary to introduce the point of view? Internet has many disadvantages. Sentence number two. Internet can waste students' time. What is this sentence? It's a, yes, 
Supporting sentence. Very good. Okay. What is the following sentence? It's a detail or detail number one. Some students use social media excessively. Sentence number two or three or four. Sorry, this is four. It can deprive families of communication time. Explanation or detail. This leads to a lack of interaction. This is not an explanation. This is a, a result. Yes. Yes, good. It is a result, but it explains the supporting sentence. We move. It represents a danger for children. And the seventh sentence is another detail which explains this sentence. They can be victims of exploitation or harassment. The last sentence is very important and it's the concluding sentence restating the point of view so we have a topic sentence supporting sentence number one detail supporting sentence number two another detail supporting sentence number three detail and the concluding sentence hungry you need a sandwich okay here you are these are the parts of the paragraph. We have a topic sentence, the supporting idea, and the detail, of course. Supporting idea number two, tomatoes. Supporting idea number three, and the concluding sentence. Of course, without forgetting detail number one to explain supporting idea number one, detail number two to explain supporting idea number two, and detail number three to, explore, to explain or to support supporting idea number three. Yes, wow, I really would like to eat the sandwich. So the sandwich all goes all together. That is, all the parts are very important to constitute a what yes a delicious paragraph okay now let's proceed read the paragraph again and underline the linking word so we have the parts of the sandwich how are these parts linked again yes what are the linking words we have here from my point of view good another one great to start with yes Okay, let's correct. From my point of view, this is how we start the paragraph or the supporting or the uh, topic sentence. Supporting idea number one, to start with and to move to the explanation or to the detail, we can use for an example. Besides for the second supporting idea and third supporting idea, another argument against. To illustrate is the explanation of this supporting idea, that is, it introduces detail number three and the concluding sentence is started with to sum up. So these are the linking words Linking words used to introduce point of view, we have from my point of view. To list arguments, we can use to start with, besides, another argument against, or we can use first, second, third, or we can use moreover, furthermore, expressions of addition. And to give examples, we have, for example, or to illustrate, we can also use for instance, in other words, differently put, etc., etc. And to conclude, we can use to sum up. Yes, very good. We can also use all in all, indeed, to conclude, etc. So these are linking words that can help us link a paragraph. Okay, now. Ready for a homework? 
Yeah, a lot of homeworks, I know. F by the way, these homeworks, you can check them with your teachers or with your peers. But make sure, please, you do this homework. Okay, now, what is the homework for today? The writing topic is, many young people like to immigrate to other countries searching for better life conditions. However, this phenomenon may have negative effects on immigrants and their home countries. Write a paragraph with a topic sentence, supporting idea number one, detail number one, supporting idea number two, detail number two, supporting idea number three, detail number three, and the concluding sentence to make a delicious sandwich again. Okay, so you write a paragraph about the disadvantages of immigration. Okay, now some ideas that can help you. Immigrants may suffer from racism, they may feel culture shock or lose their identity. Some countries are deprived of their human capital and home countries' economy suffers. So these are ideas that you can use as supporting sentences and you need to provide details for them. Yes, of course, you shouldn't remember linking words. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.